lampshade etiquette. What's the best argument to anarcho-capitalism one and what's the downside? What do you mean the argument to, do you mean the argument for anarcho-capitalism -capital rather than to? Because like my best argument for anarchism in the in, in at all is that anarchism is far more ethical than statism because statism is based upon a monopoly on the initiation of violence and it is what it is and if people keep getting indoctrinated in that of course they're going to keep going along with it so we need to get people to understand that it doesn't have to be that way. There are better ways to organize society and it doesn't need to be centrally planned. And that's a very good question and thank you. And the downside of anarcho-capitalism, <laughs> clash with bowsers. What about the roads, Rika? Uh, well, the roads will be built by the same people who build the roads now. Politicians are not out building the roads. Politicians are sitting in rooms in suits and running their mouths about blah, 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 blah. And that's that. Uh, Renee Renee says, oh, wait, lamp. Shade etiquette. Nope, I'm an ANCAP just challenging myself. Cool, cool, cool. Renee Bernays, best argument, self-ownership and complete freedom. Downside, people suck and most cannot govern themselves properly. R maybe right, I don't know if most can't govern themselves properly. I think people govern themselves okay. I think there are some sucky people and I think there are some people who have been made kind of crazy, but I think that's because of their schooling and their social programming and conditioning and it's it's messed with humanity on a scale that's just crazy. It's it's out of this world and there's really like there's no one way to fix it. We got to really we we need to get people to understand that there's better ways to go about doing things. Hi, Regan. Hi. This is my daughter for everyone if they don't know already. Her name's Regan. She's coming to hang out. Hi. We need roads and utilities and red lights. <laughs> clash with them. Of course we do, but those things can be provided without government, my dear. And you know that. You're just being silly. Lampshade etiquette. What's the downside? The downside of anarchy? Um, I don't... I don't know. Have have you read the book Healing Our World by Dr. Mary Ruart Lampshade? It's really good. It's it's from more of a libertarian perspective rather than an anarchist perspective, but she really nails down like all the little issues and gives options on how to solve them. I can't remember them all. I've read it twice, but it, it, it's hard to memorize all of that stuff. But it's a really good book. She even has a free PDF online. 